Yaho! Prof here, and I've got a quick video that I wanted to uh, make for you because I need to use this for work, and uh, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to to not have it not in use. Um, and I wanted to do an unboxing of it as well. Um, we got some nice diffused lighting from my uh, window there with the with the blinds, so hopefully it's looking pretty good. Uh, what we have here, though, as it says, is a USB Type-C tool-free enclosure for M.2, PCIe, NVMe, and SATA. This is one enclosure that does both uh, NVMe drives and SATA drives. Uh, and it's tool-free, so if you're into PC repair, IT, etc., this is the one to use. I don't know if it's uh, USAP, UASP. Um, but really, if you're using this just to back up or restore computers or something, uh, that's not too much of a concern. The UASP is more going to benefit you on the random IOPS, and that's Hamlet. Because he heard me talking. Right, buddy? Okay. Uh, so if you're, if you're grabbing a drive that you're actually going to work off of, or uh, run stuff from, uh, make sure you get an enclosure that does UASP. Um, this may or may not, I have not tested that part of it yet. Um, but the important part of this is that it does both NVMe and SATA, and it's tool free. Meaning, even the ones that I have, uh, that are cheap ones, that only have one screw, and they're plastic, they're still not tool free. You still need, a, like, an Allen or a Torx screwdriver. Not that I don't have that. But... It's an, it, like ideally I don't need it. Um, and what happened is my manager actually ended up finding this and buying it. It's by Saperint. Uh, they make some good SSDs. Um, so I have to imagine their enclosure is quite good as well. Uh, there's the model right there. Uh, ECS NVMe. NVE, sorry. EC SNVE. I will also link it down below in the. Uh, description. Uh, be aware that is an affiliate link. Uh, so I do get some kickback, but I appreciate it if you guys do it because it helps me you know, like order those new mice or stuff to check out, etc. So there's just a button on the front there. On the back side, as you saw, there was a Type C port, and it's a 10 gigabit port. A lot of times, what you'll see is that. Um, SATA enclosures run at 5 gigabit, I mean, because they don't, they only barely exceed the uh, standard USB 3.0 speeds, or what is it now, 3.2 Gen 1, I guess, or something like that, but we're calling that USB 3.0. They don't exceed those those speeds, um, so they just make them the 5 gigabit port. Uh, anyway, since it's, it's going to be slightly below that, generally, um... And then NVMe ones, you'll see at 10 gigabit. And realistically, that's because they only use a by 2 link for the PCI Express instead of a full by 4. Uh, I'm guessing that's the same case here. I would also be interested to see if this does exceed the 5 gigabit a second when using a SATA one, because it would make it a little bit faster. But um, they actually might have purposely kept it as two separate controllers or something. Um, that way... Like when you plug in a SATA one, it goes 5 gigabit out of there, and then when you put in a NVMe, it goes 10. That might be a way of doing this dual drive thing. Um, but yeah, all there is is there's this little rubber stopper right there, and that's how you lock in your drive. So we got three drives here. These two are Optane. You can see they're Optane M10. They're NVMe. Uh, they are only a by 2 That's why they have the notch chopped out. Um, if you have a by 4 it won't have the notch. Uh, that will still fit in here, though. So, um, here's a SATA one first. And these are all the 2280 length, the full length. Uh, there is a 22, like a longer, like a 2200 or something like that. Um, Hmm. We might have to consult the manual here. I'm not sure of how to get 
the rubber stopper in once you have the drive in. Because it drives in like that, like you normally put it in and you push it down. How do you, oh, I bet you I know. It's rubber. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Luckily, you can still kind of see. Sorry, I can't make it any dimmer. Uh, we're already at the lowest ISO. So push it down. Move it out of the way. Yeah, there you go. So you just literally move, pull the, bend the rubber, put the rubber stopper at whatever length you need it, and then bend it back, and there you go. She's in. Uh, there's even a thermal pad, and that isn't one you peel off. That's just like one that it's a little squishy, so by pushing it down, it will... There you go. You now have, uh, you can now do backups with this. Super nice. Um, it does only come with a Type-C to C. Uh, be aware of that. Um, I carry my own cables anyway. It does, however, cover come with an extra rubber stopper. So I'll put that in my, I have a couple drawers, little drawers and stuff for keeping extra accessories. Um, I brought that back to work. I would probably lose it. You just bend the rubber back, he flies out. That was SATA, here's NVMe, and we already confirmed that um, it does both at work. Uh, we ended up ordering these for everybody once, there you go, once we knew it did both SATA and NVMe, and it was toolless, because that way you can just pop it out, pop a drive in out of a laptop, a desktop, you know, whatever, um, and you're good to go. I have uh, two Orco ones that are like 10 to 15 dollars those are mostly plastic so if you drop them eh. but the top is metal that is a heat sink and they do support UASP and they're cheap uh, those however I just put like I had I upgraded my SSD in my work laptop so I just put moved that uh, 256 drive into it uh, you can also use that in the in the same way be aware though if you do it that way uh, if you ever need to back up the drive in here to something you obviously won't have the drive you normally do backups and stuff too so um, I'm seeing this as more of a you know like a backup device rather than a uh, one it's not gonna fit this this is an MSATA I believe might be an MPCIE um, but uh, M.2 takes both uh, I'll have to do some benchmarks when I get a chance um, but it does both the big thing here is toolless NVMe and SATA in one box and Sabrent is a good company and this thing feels solid like a freaking brick it is bigger than your average uh, here oh, here's uh, the original one that I used to have All right, I used to, what, what used to have no I still have and I have one of these in my bag for work right now this is an M2X um, from like it's like my digital SSD this was like really the first one that was compatible with um, NVMe drives and at, at actual speed. So it's a PCI Express by 2 I think it uses a J-Micron controller. I saw a review on Tom's hardware, I believe, that went over all that stuff. And um, this one is definitely, definitely not designed to be pulled apart. The uh, thermal pad gets stuck to this top piece, so if you do slide it apart a whole bunch, it, it'll just stop stop working now I do have a one terabyte 660p I believe in here that I use this is like my main NVMe uh, backup drive SSD that sort of stuff it might end up getting pulled out of here when I update my system so I have like a more fast storage in my desktop uh, because I do now have a two terabyte uh, T7 that I use more often this because it's just more compatible um, but this was the first NVMe PCIe 10 gigabit enclosure, and I mean it was good. Um, when I was working at Geek Squad, actually all of Geek Squad ended up adopting this, uh, thanks to my recommendation. Um, this no, now is my upgraded recommendation because uh, it does both SATA and NVMe, uh, and is 10 gigabit. And the bigger thing, uh, besides any of that, is toolless, and it still does have a thermal pad. Um, so, I mean, the only thing I can say is if you're doing backups of these a lot, 
uh, Orico and some other brands have come up with um, like docks where you just push it in. Um, get one of those. They, a lot of them have two ports. They're about 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Um, but for something like I'm carrying this when I'm out in the field and I just need to like say uh, somebody's laptop goes to shit and they bought a new one and I need to get the date off, bam, right here. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, I'll probably end up buying one of these for myself for my own tool bag and then I will take out because I bought a second M2X right here. Bought a second one of these for doing uh, this sort of stuff that I never put the thermal pad in. And then I have a separate uh, StarTech one that um, I uh, have that does SATA only and it's a 5 gigabit. Um, and those, both of those, you need to take out at least two screws in the end there, if you can see that, and then slide the whole thing out. It is, I mean, it works, but these are really designed to be put together and used this way, rather than, uh, you know, like this. And if you're going to do that, to be truthful, unless you're worried about the plastic, get the Oracle ones, because they're plastic on the bottom where it doesn't matter, and the top is still a nice big piece of finned aluminum. Uh, I might have shown those before on the channel. And they're far, far cheaper. Like that's like 30, 40 bucks. Or it comes to like 10, 15, maybe 20. Uh, but this, if you're doing backups on systems or need to swap out drives regularly, is something you should really, really look into. And uh, once again, it's the Sabrent uh, EC SNVE. Um, also, check out the description for an affiliate link. That'll take you right to that on Amazon. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully these uh, these tech tips or text tips, as one might call them, ha, 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 um, are helping you guys out uh, if you're either doing PC repair yourself or in this sort of uh, IT field. Uh, hopefully hit subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff, and we'll, we'll see you in the next one.